All right, I'm going to do this video before the day is closed. Just I usually don't do videos on Friday, but figure because of uh, the action that's going on. But we're at a critical level of uh, uh, 2045, and we've got to see what's going on. Again, I was very cautious of just taking this yesterday's buy. This is the E-mini uh, uh, S&P. And I would still be cautious and wait to what's going on before you buy into the close, being that uh, we have to see how, how much is going to move down. Uh, it could be a gap down tomorrow. I mean, uh for Monday so we just have to be very very cautious regarding that but you see that we have a buy program that just uh, came in before the close of the market uh, you have the NQ as well uh, holding these levels again but it's still at a very critical level as well and you also have uh, the YM which uh, you know gap down and I don't know I don't think this is actually from a, a contract rollover I think uh, the e, as a matter of fact yes the ES did roll over yesterday so we want to see how if this comes back into this buy area and, and it holds if it gaps down we're in a real uh, problem so we'll see what happens on Monday again this is a time period that you kind of just have to be a little bit cautious before you say uh, you go long and strong anything um, looking at some key names you have uh, one um, you have a uh, Apple giving a buy signal today, but again, I would not take it. And I, I told you guys that I'm just in a, a, a short right now. I'm short crude and I'm short Microsoft. Um, but I, I would just be very, very cautious at this time to just really initiate some, sh some longs uh, just because you're saying how far can it go down. Priceline is breaking down. Uh, Twitter is continuing. Again, if it breaks below this low, I think it could flush down as well. Uh, has to hold this area right here so again if you brought yesterday wouldn't be but you want to make sure that you have some some stops in place uh, Tesla is just continuing to go down I would not be going along that name at all uh, I did to Twitter already you got Netflix uh, Netflix actually buy signal was probably two days ago and, and it, it hasn't shown much again you can see the volume very weak but if this continues down I will look for a better setup I don't just do one or two bars from a low to really uh, make or break stuff and I know there's people that are looking at these things saying okay um oh it's gonna go down I, you you, you got to make way for the setup and again patience is the key regarding a lot of this stuff in, in this this business so uh American Express uh, continuing to uh, look bearish but again it could come up a little bit more and it still would be a sell signal to me let's see what Goldman Sachs is doing so they're holding up with Goldman Sachs Visa uh, Visa not that bad and you see IBM uh, again, IBM has been like a downtrend for two years, so you can see that pretty much it's been, you know, in a downtrend since around this time. So again, uh, continuing again, this this it came back into this demand air, um, this uh, resistance area, and uh, and broke down. Okay, the market is closed. We are what are we at right now? Closed down 136. So it recovered some, but again, I think that was a, just a buy program versus anything else. Uh, GoPro still continuing to the downside. Baidu gave a little bit of pop today, but again, it's still, and, and this is a little bit of pop compared for what it is. So again, you have to look at trend also. Some people say this is relative strength. What's the trend? Trend is down, so it's relative strength based on what? And uh, I don't know. I'm not going to be apologetic with with you know saying that people need to look and see what the, the trend is. Today, I thought it would have been a good buy on Google, and if you got in, you probably got stopped out the same day. But again, I'm not. Gonna, I'm going to wait till it gets back into this area. If it pops up and comes back into this area, I would look at it versus just you know these big rips on big down days and just looking at saying, okay, I got one higher low and, and continuing. That's not the way that I think uh, people should be looking at this this market. You got LinkedIn that traded sideways for a while and now it's breaking down. Again, I would not be bearish this name, but I would just be cautious this name because again, it's been chopping sideways. This, you know, people would tr say the box and now it's trading below the box. They would be concerned. I, I would say that this would have to be a better setup per se. And you just have to be, be again, cautious during this time. And listen, if you were wrong and you got your stops in, don't be pissed off at yourself. Okay. Um, like I said, I wasn't looking for any longs anymore. And uh, to look at Microsoft right now, um, let me pull it up. Microsoft right now, again, I'm not going to go take it off just because I got one update. Again, you know, I'm, I'm short around here and I'll, I'll probably put my stop around in, in this area right here. So uh, we'll see how this one plays out because on uh, Monday might look uh, down again you don't want to get caught up in this and if you feel that you need to be cautious that's that's fine that's fine don't feel like I have to be in the market all the time you don't have to be heavy in the market you also don't have to if you feel cautious about something you don't have to go full size um, again I 
with Twitter. I wasn't really you. If you're going to scale out also, this might be a little nugget for these guys that scale. People scale so quickly. It's, it's ridiculous. But if you got to if you scale out only, that means you're willing to take a hit on the full position. So if you're going to scale out of a position, you know, if you get up to a thing and you start pulling profits, you got to learn how to scale into it, too, meaning that you're not going to take a full hit. And then only get, you know, full hit for one to one, but only get 1.25 for one because you scale so quickly. OK, be patient. And uh, again, you don't have to trade all the time. And, and it's time for caution right now. Don't don't feel like you have to be, you know, a, a, you know, there's people that are saying buy the dip and all this stuff. And you got to have some sense. You got to look how the price moving is regarding that as well. So hopefully this helps. And again, be careful over the weekend and uh, we'll see what happens on Monday. Take care. Mm -hmm.